everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome to the Sunday afternoon Trisha Wolf interview show. I am Trisha Wolf, and those of you who are on my Facebook know that I am the author of A Heart Torn, A Soul Mended. My webpage is amendedsoul.com. That's www.amendedsoul.com. So ordinarily one might think that an interview would be of the author, and I am the author, Trisha Wolf. But I'm going to put a little different slant on that. I, the author of A Heart Torn, A Soul Mended, am going to interview the reader. So stay tuned. Hello, Philip. How are you this afternoon? I'm good, thank you. Oh, good. How are you? I'm doing great, above average. Jory Spiffin. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Phil is from England, and so I thought it would be particularly delightful to have an interview with an Englishman. Phil, it's my understanding that you are currently in the process of reading my book. Is that correct? That is correct. What motivated you to buy my book? You. Me. Oh, what about me? because I really feel for you about the book, uh, about your story, what you've told me, and to put it into words, I think is very, very uh, captivating. Well, thank you. That's uh, delightful of you to say that, complimentary, if you will. Okay. What is your favorite part of the book? Well, sad as might say this, is actually um, Brad's death, because, uh, the truth really hasn't come out and without that paragraph of what you feel may have happened um, that really makes the book and um, that's my favorite part of that your favorite part is the what you feel is the, the lead up to Brad's death yes and what you feel that happened yes and is trying to get the truth of what really happened mm. I'm very much in favor of the truth I believe truth is stronger than fiction. Oh, me that's, too. That's my mantra. Absolutely. My motto. Yeah. Now, um, you haven't finished reading the book. Is it a long book? No, it's about 156 pages. Okay. And um, it's, uh, I look at it like a TV series. Um, you read one chapter, then episode two is tomorrow, and episode three is the next day, and uh, it's something to look forward to each night. Look, but it's a sad tale. Why? How is it that you're looking forward to reading it? Because it is compelling and it's addictive. Addictive? The mm. book is addictive? Addictive. You can't put it down. Oh, well that's exciting yes. to hear. Yes. Hmm. Who are your favorite characters in the book? Brad and Brad's mum. <laughs> and that would be? You. Me. Why do you like uh, Brad? Because without Brad there wouldn't be a story. Oh, very true. There would be a different mom? Uh, a very different mom because um, if it's never happened the book would never have been written and um, the author, yourself, would have been uh, much, much happier. Mm. So it's interesting, isn't it, how life unfolds for each and every one of us. Mm. I know when you write your book, you're going to have a lot to say. I always have an awful lot to say. Yes, yes. I've well, got my book about you. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so you and I have talked about mm, the possibility of it becoming a movie. How delightful a fantasy that is. Who, who would you pick, uh, select, to be the actors in this movie? Um, well, Helen Mirren would definitely play you. Yeah, but I, I don't know Helen Mirren oh, that she, well. She, Helen Mirren can play many, many roles. Um, but uh, I think Helen Mirren um, would, or Annette Bedding maybe could be another one too. Annette Bedding yeah. is, is another character. Uh, she, actress. She's, she's another possibility. Um, and um, the other one, I just can't think of his name at the moment, but he's um, in a movie called Sirius, which you really want to watch that movie, it's really good. Yeah, it, is a good, it seems like it would be a good movie. It's a comedy. It's a comedy, yeah. Um, and, he, and, he, and he could play Brad really, really well, I think. Good. 
Uh, I guess in, in conclusion, one question that I'd like to ask you is, who do you think should read the book? Everybody. Why? Well, I mean, if everybody hasn't experienced the death of a child... But they may do. Uh, it, may, it may not be their own child, it might be a friend's child, somebody else's child they know, it could be a grandchild. I think everybody should read the book. And what, what might happen it, for somebody who has not encountered the death of a child, uh, what might it do for them? It Why would it, they read it? It will give them heart and give them inspiration and give them hope. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for joining me on the Sunday afternoon interview of The Reader.